What's up guys, it's here and recently I switched to arm aiming from wrist aiming, yeah, I know. And what's more is I actually switched from fingertip grip to claw grip, and it's really helped my aim, so I figured I would share what I found with y'all so y'all can reap the benefits of my testing. Okay, so I wanna give you a little backstory about why I actually switched, maybe it sounds a lot like yourself. In long range fights on some maps in Valorant, I would find myself not hitting the shots that I wanted consistently. Up close, I was fine, but long distance, I just flat out sucked. I'll be the first to admit it. I lost a lot of gunfights, okay? I would constantly be overshooting or people were moving very fast. I just didn't have that consistent, smooth aim that I wanted. Sounds like you keep watching. I also thought my headshot percentage could be a lot higher. I was missing my first bullet and then I would immediately start freaking out trying to recover and aim at the body in desperation only to find myself getting murked over and over again. And this last reason I know you guys can really feel me on this. It kind of has to do with the other stuff. It's just consistency, okay? I'd wake up one day and I'd be a god. The next day I'd wake up and I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. No matter how much Kovacs I did, no matter how many bots I shot in the shooting range, I felt hopeless. And I went into gaming not really knowing how my aim would be day to day. So I said, enough is enough. I'm gonna see what the hype is behind this arm aiming once and for all to see if I can get it down. And here we are. So I had actually tried arm aiming before, but I made one critical mistake. I tried laying my entire forearm on the table like this. Okay, I just have it like this. Wrist planted all the way down to my elbow, like so. Maybe you're like that, because wrist aiming, you're just here, right? And I like having it just resting on the table. So when I tried to switch over, keep the same aim style, but move to arm aiming, as you can imagine, my arm is just tugging and pushing and pulling and my skin is just catching on the mouse pad, all right? It's just not like, yeah, it gives me more control, but I was just super inconsistent. So think about this, on some days, your arm is gonna be super sweaty on like a hot day. Then it can be completely dry on like a cold day. There's temperature stuff, there's humidity stuff going on. A lot of stuff and variations that you just don't want and that can get you actually killed in a game. And in fact, for me, it did more times than I can count. So I saw two amazing aimers that held the mouse a little bit different, which is Zaiwu and Stewie2K from CSGO. And I noticed they all had their wrist elevated off the mouse pad. So theirs is a little bit more extreme. I think Stewie is like something like this, where like his, like, it's just like this, you know? But as you see, there's like a little gap here, right? And I think Zaiwu's is something like, like that, right? But essentially raise off the mouse pad. And for the most part, some people do this to varying degrees. I never really thought about this, so I thought I'd give it a try for myself. Now, this might be common knowledge for y'all, but it was totally new for me, this style of aiming. So what I did was I took my former claw grip and I placed it, like instead of having my wrist on the pad, I moved it up on the butt, okay? So now I'm like this. So see, there's that gap, right? You see what I'm saying? All right, I'm kind of looking at the screen. So now only a small portion of my forearm, I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now, but my forearm, this like meaty part right here, is going on the edge of the desk. I now have my wrist up. So now this becomes the pivot point, right? Instead of having the wrist be the pivot point, I now have it back here. And I don't have this on the pad, so now it's easier for me to like move around compared to this where it's just like, I'm doing it dramatically with a sweatshirt so you guys can really like hear and see, like even with a sweatshirt on, that's way easier than, see that? See, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now you can do this to varying degrees. You can have like, ha you can have it up here. You can have it all the way here. I'm like here, some people have it up here. Do what feels comfortable to you. As long as you have that little gap, Okay, as long as your wrist is off the pad, not planted, you're good to go. Ding! So now I have most of the weight here, and then the next contact point is on my mouse. So since I have this kind of like leverage, this little seesaw thing going on, most of my weight is here, alleviating the pressure of my hand on the mouse. So I'm not gonna be digging into the mouse pad like I was before, you see that? Like if I have a lot of pressure on the mouse, it's very jerky, right? So now, I have consistent pressure across the entire mouse pad because all the pressure is here. And this just becomes like a smooth, consistent flow. So when I flick, see that? 
it's not like say if I have like more pressure or if I'm in a tense situation and I start pressing down really hard, it's a problem. So now pressure here, all the way here, little weight on the mouse, more consistency. Easy enough. So not only did I switch away from my wrist aiming, I also switched away from my beloved fingertip grip, like I said, and went claw grip because I feel like it accompanies arm aiming a little bit better in my opinion. Although you can do it and use it like that, I think the added stability that claw grip gives is a lot better. And it really forces me to use my arm to aim instead of reverting back to my wrist movements when I'm like doing fingertip grip, like I found myself wanting to use my wrist more than my arm. Now I know I didn't want to use palm grip because when I lay my fingers flat on the mouse, I feel like I can't click as fast. Like I feel, it feels too comfy. When I have it like this, like I feel like I can like tap way faster than, than like this. And it's a little weird for me, okay? So that's another thing that you might want to look into is like having your fingertip curled like that. Now the two mice that I really go back and forth between are the Starlight 12. This gives a little less room on it, like my fingers are more curled than on the on the G Pro because this is a longer mouse. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people like this mouse is because it's just so long, it can fit your whole hand. It's not gonna be cramped, whereas this is a little bit more cramped, but I also feel like I get more control because my hand is a little bit more tense because I have to curl a little bit more. Now I also lower my sensitivity to a 52 centimeters for a full 360. So I have to go around, like usually it's about two mouse pad swipes for me personally. I say you can use anything from like a 37 centimeter plus, although there are people that aim arm aim with like even higher senses, but I think at that point you might be losing some control there. Now for reference, if you guys are curious, my sense in Valorant is 800 DPI, 2.7 in game. So you can use whatever converter that you want to change this to whatever game that you are to figure out your centimeters for a 360. And that's just a general way to convert from game to game. That's not saying like, oh, I have to have this 360. It's just a way for somebody in Counter-Strike to use the sensitivity or a person in Apex or Call of Duty to have the same sensitivity by just going with the centimeters. And I felt the sense is not super low, it's not super high, I can comfortably move around the map and it keeps my aim very steady. You can play around with your sense and kind of find whatever feels comfortable to you depending on how much dexterity you have with your arm. Now keep in mind, I still use my wrist for small movements, but it feels like more of a like one motion now. Like it's very like just for those minute details like you know adjusting very slightly to the head you know what i mean and just doing those huge swipes overall my shot has been way better more consistent day to day i usually top frag now in all my games i feel more confident taking gunfights my confidence level has gone from zero to full chad aim status now i now get it i get why people arm aim i fought it for so long for the longest time but now i realize i was just doing it wrong and if you follow the steps in the video, it should help your aim out. Also, I know people are gonna be asking me, hey, why don't you just use a sleeve? That would alleviate the problem. I don't like sleeves. They're just not for me. My arms are too big, no flex. It is what it is. Also guys, give it a few days. Practice not having your wrist on the pad and really pivoting from that meaty part of your forearm. After a while, you're good to go. You're gonna be shooting like Steph Curry, all right? All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you like this style or if I should do more of these videos. I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while now. Glad I did it. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. It has been your boy, BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.